Well, how's it going? I'm Mark Duffy. You may not recognise me as it's been two years since I've been on this channel, but this is my channel and I'm back. I'm jumping on the bandwagon as everyone else is because of this coronavirus because I literally have no work. What a time to go full time as a photographer. So I just want to come on to this uh, and just do a quick video just to kind of get myself back into the flow of things and also as well to give you an update as to what I've been up to in the last two years, what are my plans over the next while and why should I be bothered doing YouTube, why should you be bothered watching me and are you going to benefit from me at all in any, in any way. So let's, I'm not going to do an intro, I'm not doing that whole intro Mark Duffy photo. That's done and dusted. Loads of people do that. Let's just, you know, let's just talk. That's what I like doing. I love talking. This is why I really want to get back into this because I love the sound of my own voice and I think you should too. So the biggest update of this year so far is I got married. Me and my girlfriend of 12 years got married on the 3rd of January. It was a fantastic day. We had the Mark and Fiona Fennell um, photographers on the day. Absolutely fantastic. It couldn't have gone any better. And yeah, uh, we haven't killed each other yet, but... Who knows? <laughs> we didn't think we'd be living in each other's skin <laughs> day in, day out with a two week lockdown. But, you know, uh, that's how things go, isn't it, really? Uh, also with this year as well, I took the dive into going full time as a photographer. So I'm full time now as a commercial photographer. Um, I went full time around the last week of January and it was going great. It was going great. I was getting loads of bookings and then they all stopped three weeks ago. Uh, so I was working still. I still kept my full time job as a part time. So I was doing that two days a week and now all of that is gone. Um, I, I don't have any of that now at the minute, um, which gives me the free time and gives me the idea maybe now of doing some YouTube videos, I have some free time and I am looking to push my portfolio further with commercial photography and showcasing exactly what I do. Because the way I'm looking at it now is me being a commercial photographer is I have 10 years experience working as a graphic designer. So I know from a company standpoint what they're actually looking for. So I thought, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to, test my hand now as a photographer. I have some of these wild ideas and if I open myself up as a commercial photographer and, and not the whole one trick pony landscape photographer and that's not to talk that down. I love doing that. I still love doing it. I got out loads. As soon as the as soon as the jobs went down I was out 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 the whole time trying to get as many sunrises and sunsets because we knew eventually they were going to hit us with a two week lockdown because Italy had done it and so many other places had done it and I still love going out for sunrises you'll never take that from me I still love it but now I have my imagination can go wild for instance check out what I did to my snare drum like who takes their vintage snare drum and does that with it you know what I mean like so on recording of this I haven't actually posted this photo yet so I don't know what people's reaction is I am hoping fingers crossed Weird, it's cracked my knuckle. Oh, I'm getting old. Uh, fingers crossed that Instagram doesn't ruin it with their algorithm because Instagram doesn't like me anymore, doesn't show my photos to anyone. But I know there's loads of people with the same complaints as well. So that is kind of the ideas that I'm kind of coming out with. I'm having these wild ideas, I'm looking at mundane objects and how to just hero shot them and that's what I'm really interested in and you know I'm testing different things you know Samyang macro lens I've got the the Venus Lauer 60mm uh, lens f2.8 uh, f2 two by magnification macro lens so I should be doing a review of that pretty soon uh, I will tell you this I'm a big fan of it it's nice and small it's designed I think personally it's designed for a mirrorless APS-C but um, yeah, the only disappointment really, just as a just as a as a first view is on it, it only goes to f22. I would much prefer it go to f32, but I have mentioned that in my stories on Instagram the minute I got it in the post. So I seem to have just skipped way ahead of myself there. I have no planning in this. This is just totally talk talk. This is literally the definition of a talking head. I'm sitting here talking to you, no plans, just gonna go. I actually got told. This is just a segue. I got told I have a follower in Brazil and she uses my stories on Instagram as a test to her English language students. So if you think you know how to speak English fluently, she'll give you my story. And if you can't keep up, well, then you got to work harder. She told me that I got an email from her and I have to say it was the, one of the funniest emails I'd gotten in a while. And it just it cracked me up and that made my day. I have no intentions. I'm not doing a Conor McGregor. I will never slow down my accent for you. If you can't, if you can't understand me, tough. This is how I talk. I'm not going to change for anyone. And that's why I don't do the whole, hi, I'm on Instagram and I'm going to do a fake voice. 
that cracks me up. All that, all that fake stuff just drives me insane. So I'm going to keep it, try and keep it real. Hence why I'm not putting a script to this. I have a general idea of what I want to talk about in this video. It's only going to be short and quick. What gave me the idea of going into commercial photography? Um, what gave me the idea was actually another idea I had. I was working as a graphic designer for a wooden flow company doing their brochures. And the brochures just basically looked like a photographer's portfolio uh, because of the lifestyle images. So a lifestyle image is like a, like a lovely, uh, like an Ikea, uh, catalog photo and they're all fake they're all 3d rendered there's no photos taken in there none of them are real in, in ikea just to let you know on that one uh, i found it out i didn't i didn't know that either i'd seen them and i was like they just looked like an architectural photographer's portfolio i was like well maybe i should do my own landscape photography portfolio and because i'm so proud of where i come from in loud i was just like well you know what maybe i should actually do a book dedicated to the heritage of loud because County Loud has the largest number of heritage sites in Ireland outside of Dublin. It's the smallest county in the country and has the largest number of heritage sites outside of the capital county. I thought that that needed to be just sung from the rooftops and Tourism Ireland are not doing enough, I think, in the, in the, the Loud sector. I actually showed them the book. I showed Ireland's Ancient East, I showed Discovering Ireland, Tourism Ireland, and none of them wanted anything to do with it. N not one of them, they were kind of sarcastic, they went, hey, good for you, you made your own book. Good on you. And I was, uh, Annoyed, to say the least, with it. But from then, actually, Falch Ireland hired me last year to go and photograph uh, parts of the country for Ireland's Ancient East. And it gave me an insight as to um, the potential earnings as a, as a commercial landscape photographer. And because I have such experience as a graphic designer, I was just like, you know what, I could expand this out and I could really just go to the potential of my imagination and just do it. Just whatever comes to mind, not only can I make it happen as a graphic designer, but now I can have the challenge of setting it up and lighting it and actually making it a real thing. And um, yeah, it's really exciting. Before I even started doing product photography, I invested gear for headshot photography and I didn't really photograph people, I had no interest in photographing people, but the headshots I have to find, I have to say, I'm really, really loving doing the headshots because I spend more time, hence why, look, like even the way I'm sitting, this is my stool I used for headshot photography. I'm sitting kind of, not fully, not fully in the pose, you know what I mean? Just looking at my monitor there, a little bit higher, boom. I'm not really doing the full pose, but I still have, I'm still conscious of it. Um, but I spend more of my time, not photographing people, but making them laugh. And I think that is the trick, is, don't try and capture someone smiling. Try and get them laughing, and then you will get the winning smile. But you know, uh, but it's trial and error. I photographed a friend who's a barrister. Could not, could not break down. He had a barrier, a really strict barrier from years of experience of of being a barrister, and him needing that, he can't laugh in court. So, um, and he explained that to me, and I was determined in the photo shoot, and I got a smirk. I got one of them. Just about that there, and I was happy because that was me. They, technically, I broke the wall. Every now and then, I can get them wetting themselves laughing, and and that's and that's that's what makes it really fun as well. So so far in the last year, I've had I've had a lot of fun. I didn't think I would have, and it's just been so enjoyable. And now I want to share even more stuff that I've learned with you because I learn everything I know off YouTube. So why not give it back? So that's why I'm here. That's why I'm on here. I'm just giving you an update, quick update. Um, my photography is going absolutely phenomenal. Even if I'm not getting the growth that I, th I thought I would get, uh, I'm enjoying it more than I ever have. And like right now, like right now it's, it's what day? I can't even remember what day it is. <laughs> That's how bad it is. I can't remember what day it is. Uh, it's Friday. I put on Instagram yesterday that I had an idea to do an S Cafe uh, photo shoot and I was going to put it with um, biscuits and they give me options. So now I'm going up to go to Tesco's to get the biscuits that everyone suggested on Instagram. Like I said, this was just going to be a quick video, just a quick update. Keep an eye on my channel. I am going to be doing videos. If you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments below. Uh, check out my Instagram page. I'm going to pop it there. And check out on Tuesdays, I do a thing called Duffer's Tuesday Tips. We'll give it 10 seconds. And just to let you know as well, in case you thought I ripped off Peter McKinnon, he ripped me off. 
I've been using that music since June of last year. So Match Duffer's Tuesday Tips nearly a year now. You can ask whatever you want and I will answer it as well. And at the minute I'm getting about maybe 30 to 40 questions and it takes me about two hours to get them done. But Everton, I don't do the whole text reply. It's a video reply I do and it'll be on my story for 24 hours. If I get some time, I might put together like the best of Duffer's Tuesday Tips, but not entirely sure how I'm going to be able to do that. That does a lot to get through because I like talking. Um, so yeah, look, just... Just keep an eye on my page, keep an eye on my channel here. Uh, if you liked what you heard so far, if you if you have seen my page and now you want to learn from me, let me know what you want to learn in the comments. Like, subscribe, and until next time, later gators. Whew. Back here again, huh? Okay, what the hell am I going to talk about? Well, how's it going? I'm Mark Duffy. You probably haven't seen my face in two years because I haven't been... Uh, I haven't been arsed. I really just haven't been arsed doing videos. He's back! Oh yeah! Drum solo. What clicking fingers? Over here so don't clip the mic. <laughs>